Padre Pio Healing Prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you for loving me. I trust in your power and grace that sustain and restore me. Loving Father, touch me now with your healing hands. For I believe that your will is for me to be well in mind, body, soul and spirit. Cover me with the most precious blood of your Son, our Lord. Jesus Christ from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Cast anything that should not be in me. Root out any unhealthy and abnormal cells. Open any blocked arteries or veins and rebuild and replenish any damaged areas. Remove all inflammation and cleanse any infection. By the power of Jesus' precious blood, touch also my mind and my emotion. Even the deepest recesses of my heart, saturate my entire being with your presence, love, joy, and peace, and draw me ever closer to you every moment of my life. And Father, fill me with your Holy Spirit and empower me to do your works so that my life will bring glory and honor to your holy name. I ask this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Who was Padre Pio? Born May 25, 1887, in Petrolcina, Italy, as Francesco Forgioni. Padre Pio devoted himself to God at a very young age. Diaries from Francesco's spiritual director note that Francesco began to experience ecstasies and apparitions as early as age four or five. Francesco, however, didn't realize that these were extraordinary experiences. He kept many of them to himself, thinking they were ordinary. Through more and more visions and encounters with the healing work of God, Francesco's trust in him only continued to grow, though his early life was certainly not without struggle. Ultimately, Francesco became a Capuchin friar in January 1903 at the age of 16. At this beginning point of his religious life, Francesco Forgioni became Brother Pio of Petralcina. After entering the Capuchins, Pio progressively became sick and ill, his stomach refused food, and he was only able to drink minimal amounts of water. He left the monastery and moved back home, at the recommendation of his doctors, but his health was still poor. With little hope of improvement of his health, Pio most desired to be ordained. Though he was quite young for ordination, the bishop ordained Pio on August 10, 1910. At 23, Brother Pio became Father Pio, or in Italian, Padre Pio, as we know him today. Drafted during World War I, Pio discovered he had tuberculosis. Discharged from serving, Pio eventually moved to a different Capuchin monastery in San Giovanni Rotondo in 1917, where he grew his ministry and lived until his death on September 23, 1968. The Stigmata In 1918, Europe was ravaged by World War I and the Spanish flu. It was a year of suffering for Pio, his community, and Europe. Amidst this suffering of the world, one day in September, Padre Pio said Mass at San Giovanni Rotondo. Afterward, he received a miraculous vision. He saw someone with Christ's crucifixion wounds. After the vision, Pio realized he was physically dripping with blood. He had received the stigmata. Stigmata are the five wounds of Christ, replicated in the human body, around 400 people, including St. Francis of Assisi and St. Catherine of Siena, have claimed to have received the stigmata. Upon receiving the stigmata, Pio tried to keep it a secret. The word spread about his reception of Christ's wounds. This led to much interest and controversy. In addition to the miracle of the stigmata that he experienced, God worked through Padre Pio to perform hundreds and hundreds of miracles on others throughout his lifetime, curing people of all kinds of sicknesses. Pio even founded a hospital near San Giovanni Rotondo called Casa Sali della Sofferenza, or the home for the relief of suffering in 1956. The hospital still operates today and houses up to 1,000 patients.
He also was known for his spiritual counseling to those seeking reconciliation. Pio passed away in 1968, was beatified in 1999, and soon canonized in 2000 to by Pope, now Saint, John Paul II. On the day of Pio's canonization, Pope Saint John Paul II delivered a beautiful homily on Pio's life and his inspiration to us. In our own journey with God, in his description of Pio's inspiring humility and piety, Pope St. John Paul II guides us to three ways to emulate the saint, and reasons for us to seek his intercession, to bear the yoke of Christ, to be a person of prayer, and to love others mercifully. The evangelical image of the yoke recalls the many trials that the humble capuchin of San Giovanni Rotondo had to face. Today we contemplate in him how gentle the yoke of Christ is, and how truly light is his burden when it is borne with faithful love. The life and mission of Padre Pio prove that difficulties and sorrows, if accepted out of love, are transformed into a privileged way of holiness, which opens onto the horizons of a greater good. Known only to the Lord, Pope St. John Paul II, Drawing from the Gospel of Matthew, Pope St. John Paul II shared with us that Pio carried his many burdens of sickness, the stigmata, questioning from the Church with love for Christ. He found a way to draw near to Christ in his suffering. As human beings ourselves, we know how challenging this is. And Pope St. John Paul II recognized this. He encouraged us to consider how faith can help us make easy our yoke and lighten our burdens. Though this takes tremendous courage, courage that we see in meditating on the life of Padre Pio. In fact, the ultimate reason for the apostolic effectiveness of Padre Pio, the profound root of so much spiritual fruitfulness, can be found in that intimate and constant union with God, attested to by his long hours spent in prayer and in the confessional, he loved to repeat, I am a poor Franciscan who prays convinced that prayer is the best weapon we have. A key that opens the heart of God, Pope St. John Paul II. In the homily, Pope St. John Paul II shed light on Pio's humble spirit rooted in prayer. Even throughout his life of suffering and sickness, Padre Pio also famously said, pray hope and don't worry, worry is useless. God is merciful and will hear your prayer. Pio inspires us to draw closer to God in our daily lives, even through our challenges. Pope St. John Paul II's Prayer for Padre Pio's Intercession In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Teach us, we ask you, humility of heart so we may be counted among the little ones of the Gospel to whom the Father promised to reveal the mysteries of his kingdom. Help us to pray without ceasing, certain that God knows what we need even before we ask him. Obtain for us the eyes of faith, that will be able to recognize right away in the poor and suffering the face of Jesus. Sustain us in the hour of the combat and of the trial and, if we fall, make us experience the joy of the sacrament of forgiveness. Grant us your tender devotion to Mary, the mother of Jesus and our mother. Accompany us on our earthly pilgrimage toward the blessed homeland, where we hope to arrive in order to contemplate forever the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.